Hi, I'm Doug Larson with Fibertronics, and uh, today we're going to talk about how to change the gender on an MTP or MPO cable at 7 so that you can uh, use it, uh, it, you know, if you get a cable that it, and it has the wrong gender, it only takes a couple minutes and I'll show you how to change it. Okay, so here we have um, a US Connect MTP connector, and we're, we're going to want to change the gender on it because we need to... Uh, this particular one right now, I'm going to remove the dust cap and I can see that this has got male pins on it. And so I'm going to want to change this out and I want to be able to remove those male pins and make it a female gender. So here I have a, um, a removal tool. Inside the removal tool it's got two pins and the pins push into this very small holes that are on the side of the, um, the, the MTP connector. So. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and snap this in all the way. It's all the way as if it was into a an adapter. I'm going to press both of these pins and it just automatically popped this out just a hair bit. Now what I normally do is I get it like this and then I go ahead and remove it back off. And I pull off my body. Now on the MTP ferrule itself we have um, a window. On the window, the window side on a US Connect MTP connector, it'll have a letter. And that letter tells you what type of ferrule it is. This particular one being an OM3 cable, that letter is an M indicating it's a multi mode standard ferrule. If it was an S, that would be a single mode. If it was an E, that would be an elite single mode. So this particular one here, is a male and we're going to remove those male pins. Now we've got to be very careful doing this because the spring here can cut into the fibers and you're going to see as I start pulling on this. It's best to have the cable that you're working with as straight as possible and have a good two, two meter if possible uh, length. Just try to get the cable as straight as possible because that will allow this ribbon to slide more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of hold it back here by the jacket and I'm going to pull this uh, ferrule out and I'm trying to relieve the pressure on the spring. I have to pull it out far enough for me to be able to get them male pins out. So when I'm male pins I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to pull them back just a little bit. I got them kind of started. Now I'm going to grab that ferrule and I'm going to pull and I'm going to pinch back here at the back and that's going to hold it. Then I'm able to, and it, it's a lot easier if you have somebody helping you do this, but then I'm going to um, pull those male pins out. And I see I'm not far enough out, so I'm going to pull it out a little more. And i got to get it all the way out, because if I don't, and I try to get it out, it's going to cut the fibers because the, the, the male pins, the back side of them, is very sharp. Where's my female? Ah, there it is. Now I'm going to install my female pins. Now I don't have to have the pressure on it now because it, the, the, the ribbon is going to start to go back into the jacket. Now I'm going to pull back out again a little bit because I got to get the body on. This is the most important part of this whole thing because this is how the ribbon's going to get snapped. One side, the side that's got the the window on it, I told you already that it has an M on it. The M is on the side that is pin number one. Okay, so if you look at your matrix of your fiber, the dark blue should be pointed to the M. Okay, on a US Connect MTP connector it has a white dot on one side of the body. Inferior connectors, MPO connectors, and connectors that are manufactured outside of the United States do not have this white dot. The white dot goes to side one. Okay, so I'm going to line it up. Now it's there, but the ferrule is not started in the body. So I'm going to wiggle this back and forth until I see that it got started in the body. It got started. I know it got started. I'm going to show you this. It got started because it went on. I'm holding it out, okay, with my thumb at the back. I get it started, 
and now you saw how it went on further. Now I'm going to get it just started here. Now I can let go of the back. I can see the ferrule is already sticking out the front and I haven't even snapped it together yet. Now as I push it, it's going to slide that ribbon back into the jacket. And there it is. So now it, I've, been, I've converted it from a male to a female. Now I'm going to go back the other way real quick. It is a little harder to get the male pins in, especially if you're doing this by yourself. So we're going to take the tool again, pop it in, pull the tool off. Okay, I see my window side. It's easy to get the female pins out. Boom, there they fell out. And now I'm going to put in my male pins. I got to get this guy way out here. You see how much space I got away from the spring? This has to go in like a, you don't push it straight on. It goes in at an angle. It's very sharp and it will cut. Just a second. My hands are getting a little sweaty. It will cut your uh, ribbon if you're not careful. Now I got to get those pins started, and it's like I said before, it's easier to have somebody help you do this. Now the pins are started, and there they're in. I still have it held out, okay, meaning the spring is not back back all the way into the spring push. I'm looking at my white taut, line it up. A little wiggle back and forth. Got it started. I can see my ferrule is sticking out and I haven't even pushed it all the way in yet. And there it is. Now I just converted it back to a male. So if you have any questions, uh, the tool uh, is, uh, we offer this tool, the MTP removal tool here at Fibertronics. Um, I don't recommend getting into a habit of wanting to do this because the chances of breaking inside of here is highly, highly probable. Um, we do it uh, whenever a customer has a cable that they ordered and they ordered it the wrong gender, then we'll swap them for them for free. But um, I don't recommend doing this on a regular basis. We do it many, many times a day. but. We we're used to it. So anyway, if you have any questions, just call Fibertronics 321-473-8933. Thank you. Bye.